What's up guys, this is James Robertson with Workspace Real Estate. So today we're going to look at 15,000 to 30,000 square feet of industrial space and we are going to focus on the Northwest Houston market. So this particular client needs to be next to a client of theirs and they both are located in the Northwest Houston quadrant. So what we're going to do is focus on industrial space along 290 here uh, possibly Highway 6 and I-10, depending on how far they want to go out, but particularly along 290, along the Beltway, all the way up past the sweet spot here at 290 and Highway 6. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is put the parameters out there so that we start here and hit industrial space I'm going to go so far as to hit 249 because there's some really good deals out there. I know that it needs to be class A industrial, so we're going to skip veterans and make that a boundary. So we'll definitely hit this area here and we'll narrow all the way down to 290 and hit some of I-10. Okay, and we're going to widen it out here. Now we're skipping the energy corridor down south. And as far as industrial goes, there's just not a lot of class A industrial space that's going to be a good competitive price point. Okay, so with that selected, as you can see, we have 921 properties. Now we're going to click all industrial, all flex. That narrows it down to about 443. All right, so we're going to want 15,000 to about, and I'm going to say 30,000 just to be safe. Okay, so that brings it down to 99. Here, we're going to leave the rents open, and we want to go ahead and put industrial and flex. Now, this just makes sure that the filters are correct. The building status, we're going to do existing spaces. So that's not, all of the new developments are not included. So once I hit existing, anything that's coming online in the next six months to a year is taken out because that's not actionable property because these clients need it within the next six months. If they change their mind, we can totally just reopen that. So everything else we're going to leave open. So we have everything that's available in this marketplace. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. All right, so it looks like we have quite a bit to choose from here. I want to be comprehensive in the search, and I think that since we have a team that's looking at these spaces, it would make sense for us to include all 86 initially. So that way we understand what we can screen out. I am going to send a shorter list that shows my favorite picks from this, but let's get some raw data so we can talk about this on a broader level. So as we see at the year built, these properties were built at the oldest, you know, 1969, uh, which that doesn't look too bad for 1969, but you have properties a little bit older all the way up to uh, just this year that have been developed, some of the newer construction. Um, I know we're going to focus more on that. We can also break it down by class, so let's do that real quick. So now that we've broken it down by class, we can see that some of the higher end properties are going to be at $11 a foot, and we see the sweet spot is right about 9 bucks a foot, which one of the properties we're looking at by stream is actually at so this is kind of the sweet spot here. We know that that's a norm. My goal would be to get a more aggressive deal uh, since there are so many that are competing at this sweet spot that are all similar properties. Now, here are some of the deals that were just done recently in this part of the market. Now, I want you to keep in mind, this is a pretty broad area that I just highlighted. So it looks like there's about nine or 10 deals here. And we can see that these deals that were done, the ones, let's see what we have data on. Now there was a thousand square foot deal that was at $10.80. Okay, that was on 290. It's not really a comparable because it's so small. Okay, this one doesn't have the rate there. So one that was on Westview Drive, this is an older property you can see here. This looks like it's a definitely a class C industrial space. And that was leasing at about $4. And 57 cent plus triple net so that's about six to seven dollars all in so we have an idea of what class C cost there 
So here's one that was just signed uh, very recently at $7.80. I like this one. Now this one's on Pymont. This is a class C, class B space at $7.80. So that's also helpful to give us a little bit of perspective. Now here's, let's see, Clara would be comparable. They don't have the numbers there. I can find that out for you though. We'll do that in our analysis later. So, so as we look at these here, I'm going to go back to the main screen so we can look at the map. So when you look at a swath this big, let's talk briefly about what we should expect from a market perspective. So the rates are going to be higher, obviously, as we get from 610 here and 290. They're going to be more affordable or more competitive as we get closer to here. Now, I know that a point of reference uh, for this particular client's uh, uh, client, so to speak, is going to be right in this sweet spot here. So because of that reason, there is one option that seems to stand out that we see here. We know what it costs. That's obviously included. Our goal is to leverage these that are nearby to see what's going to be competitive, use that to get the best deal that we can, and we're going to work from there. What's really important is also to look at deals that are not listed on the market. Because there's so few in this little circle, in this area, we know that it's important to make sure we do our due diligence and make sure that the industrial spaces that are not listed are not coming online within the next six months that can offer a competing deal. That's going to be really important and something that we are going to do. But first step is to get these options to the client so that they can look over these and identify any others that may be of use. So I hope this information was helpful. I'm going to print out these reports for my client. And thank you so much for watching.